What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time we finished up our evening activities here at Thor's Branch Campus on uh, June the 11th. Uh, it is the night before, well not the night before, but the night before it's going to do a little skip into next week where our pans are sold at, training is going to begin, so we're going to enjoy running back to the dorm and relaxing for the night. Spending one last night with Elise, I suppose, before she heads home in the morning. So let's do it. It's game late. Should I head back to the dorms now? I believe by the end of this video, we should be at the location of our next field exercise. Are you heading in already, Reen? How did Kirk get roped into this? Yeah, I managed to get all my errands done. I guess you guys went shopping, huh? That's quite a mountain of food. Yes, it's all for dinner tonight. I've been thinking I can't keep imposing on the Countess's hospitality. Besides, we've all been working so hard in class, we wanted to show off our skills a little. Well, we've basically just been making whatever we want at the cooking club. Well, it's good to see you're all so eager. I'm pretty sure Celestin already has dinner handled. I guess you're in charge of lugging everything back, huh, Kurt? Yes, well, we came across Ash, but he managed to worm his way out of helping. Yeah, so it seems. <clears throat> oh, hello, everyone. It's good to see you all. We're ready to start cooking club anytime. I'm gonna go wild with these ingredients. Toss them in. Uh, more bugs, I'm sure. All right, let's take a gander. What's going on? You and the members of the cooking club proceeded to go all out, resulting in far more dishes than originally planned. Aurelia's party for Elise ended up filled with food that was on par with the food served in Orcus Tower and no less expensive. I'm sure the shops they bought from were happy to hear that. What do we got here? Some chicken? I think it's chicken anyway. Oh, welcome, Jim Jingo and Cerberus. Frankie as well. Oh god, everyone's here. Rosine has to watch over the kids. Oh boy. <laughs> Celine, get along with Cerberus. In order to handle this vast, vast mountain of food, friends and neighbors were invited too. All in all, it turned out to be quite the lively night in Leaves. Wouldn't surprise me if Aurelia right there was asking to fight Reen and Elise two on two. Like, Elise is no slouch. Like, in terms of, like, her fencing. Like, I, I don't think that... I mean, I don't... Obviously, she's not beating Aurelia. But I feel like there's a handful of Jaegers and Bracers we've come across over the years that Elise could beat. <笑>ちょっと驚きました。あははは。どう考えても文校長の趣味だと睨んでるけどね。そういえば、第二の宿舎になるときに大規模な改修がされたそうですね。元々は<笑> So, once again, they mention that it's gotta be the Kapuas. Yeah, the merchant we dealt with. Well, we didn't even deal with him. He got away. The one that got away in Crossbell. Well, they, they were terrorists at one point. Yeah, 
Yeah, Tita, you should know. I thought everyone would be reluctant to go in a public bath like this, but... You're all fine with it? Hmm, something wrong? Most people aren't really used to this kind of thing, right? I guess you're fine with it, Allie. But I thought Elise and Tita would be embarrassed for sure. I've actually been going to Hot Springs all my life. Oh, yeah, because they have the... I forget what the the name of the area was called, but they had those hot springs down by uh, Zeiss. There's a hot springs resort near my hometown. My hometown is actually famous for its hot springs. Seriously? I'm surprised about Tita too, but this is the first time I've heard about Elise growing up with hot springs. The Northern Hot Springs Paradise, Ymir, Instructor Reen's hometown. I think I remember seeing hot springs when I went there once on a mission. I remember that mission. A mission? What mission? The scene the one who kidnapped Elise is... Pardon me, I think I'm getting lightheaded from all the steam. Haha. <laughs> but this means... Elise and Reen used to bathe together when they were young. As did Tita and Agate, no doubt. Um... No, Agate wasn't with us when we went to that hot spring, did, was he? Huh? Together? Well, we are siblings, so a few times we were young, sure. Oh, I can just picture you boldly striding into the hot spring to comfort your dear brother Reen in his time of... Well, yeah, she did do that. And I can see sweet little Tita finding an excuse to follow her special someone into a mixed bath herself. Oh, how adorable. I mean, no, but remember when uh, Joshua was in there and Estelle freaked out? No, that's... <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, Zay. That's a pretty rotten imagination you've got there. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I'm so jealous. You all have such nice hair. Elise's lustrous black hair. Teeth of shining honey blonde hair. It should be illegal to have pretty silver hair of yours, Allie. Your hair has nice fluffy curls to it. Your hair is lovely as well, Yuna. You looked really different when you were washing it earlier. Yeah, it was so vibrant and feminine. Now that I think of it, you're always taking care of it. Unlike all of you with your flawless hair and skin, I need to put serious work to look like this. Oh, yes, I think now may be the perfect time for some serious girl talk. Oh, boy. Huh? Girl talk? That's right. For our first order of business, let's in let's discuss Instructor Reen's type. For example, out of all of us here, who would he pick? Why would we talk about that? An interesting topic. Um, uh, I... Oh, there's no need to overthink things, Tita. So, Elise, how about it? Would his favorite be his dear little sister? Gulp. But um. To be perfectly honest, I don't think he actually has a type. He seems close with a number of very different people. Alisa, Laura, Emma, Fee, Milliam, Instructor Sarah. Oh, and Toa, the Princess, Major Claire, and Sharon as well. <laughs> wow, that's so many. He's a... I believe the correct term is playboy. But listen to this. According to the princess, he's had some hot and heavy moments with his male acquaintances as well. What? Muse, please don't bring Santa Australia's bad habits here. <laughs> I can't recall a single hot and heavy moment with the guys. There's just something about Instructor Reen that you just can't leave be. I suppose you can say that about Kurt and Ash too. Is that so? Don't read too much into it. It's interesting. I never really thought about boys and girls before I started here at the branch campus. But they are pretty different. Oh? Altina, I see. You've really grown these past few months, Allie. Well, not physically, but you know what I mean. Leave me alone, I'm fine with my current size. Though if I were a little bigger, I wouldn't mind it. You're just too cute, Allie. 
Excessive contact. <laughs> Tawa. Aurelia. ジャマオスルゾ。お、お、そ、すごい。圧倒的ですね。あ、お先に失礼しております。ふふ、妹子もいることだし、たまには生徒と裸になって。<笑><笑> I mean, for, for <laughs> a, a queen on her throne, right? しかし、乙女らしく盛り上がっていたようだが、なんだ。シュバルツァを落とす話でもしていたのか。お、落とすって。はい、そうなんです。Musei stops. Oh boy, this is gonna backfire. I mean, I guess she would know if she fought alongside him during the Northern War. Don't give them this advice. He's already, he already has enough of a hard time as it is. So, so なん Oh my god. Sorry to you too, Agate, I guess. これは聞き逃せませんね。yeah Toa Toa like lost herself in it for a moment but then was like you can't talk like this to the students <laughs> it'd be funny if he's just like I just had a sharp chill down my spine well look at you so diligent <clears throat> how did you close the door the location for our field exercise has been picked and we got pants or sold at training tomorrow. There's still a ton of things I need to get ready. Weren't you headed to the bath of the Lees and the others? I left them a while ago. Listening to them in there, I felt like my head was going to pop. Huh? Oh, I nearly forgot. The radio, what are you planning on listening This is, why in the world are you listening to Vita's show? Well, because I'm a fan. And that I feel like there's some reason she started her show back up. I'm sure she doesn't have a reason for have past simple boredom. Boredom. So how long, does she, does, does she do this weekly? Does she do this nightly? Like, how does it work? Didn't we spend the summer festival in Heimdallar? Uh, not last year, it would have been the year before. とちによっていろいろな催しが開かれるのが特徴ですね。個人的におすすめするのはやっぱり海沿いのラマール州でしょうか。カイトオルディスでは高齢行事として湾内に無数の鏡火を浮かべることで有名ですね。残念ながら去
Lamar is where we're headed for our next field exercises. She mentioned Sutherland and Crossbell shortly before we visited, too. She's clearly mentioning these places on purpose. Is she getting her info from Ouroboros or just constantly predicting the government's next move? Knowing her, it's probably both. Yeah, most likely. あとは沖合にあるブリオニア島かな定期便こそ出ていませんが豊かな自然と古代のロマンにあふれた知る人ぞ知る穴場スポットなんだとかうん月災を堪能した後は海水浴にジャンブル<笑> <laughs> there, I planned your whole trip for you. Brony Island. I've heard the name before. Two years ago, Group B had one of their field studies there. That was when you and Emma went to Nord, right? Speaking of which, I remember our clan's elder mentioning that island before. It's the spot in the Empire with the greatest concentration of Animus ruins. Hmm? The Elder? Is she the one Emma and Vita call their grandmother? Yeah, but you wouldn't know it from looking at her. But she may as well be their actual grandmother. Oh, so they're not related by blood? Of course not. Are you curious about it? Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get some lore? Huh? <laughs> あの子たちの過去とヘクセンブリードについてね。Lord dump time. Let's go. エマにビータ。とある佐藤拠点とする一族の末として生まれた二人の娘たち。ビータは早くに両親を亡くしたけど、そのテンプとも言える才能を見込まれ、オサの一番弟子として引き取られたわ。一方、エマの母親はザイヤの魔女、世俗の町で暮らしていたけど、不幸な事故で命を落としてしまった。This really just sounds like obviously very different, but uh Shara and Luciola story, like how close they were. オサが生み出した2匹の使い魔も yeah, but Grianos died. さいき溢れるビータにちょっと引っ込み思案のエマ。どちらも良き魔女として成長し、穏やかな日々が続いたけど、16歳の時、ビータが巡回魔女に志願したの。わお。里の外、世の情勢を見極める役目。so something happened when she left. オサは安心して送り出したけど、半年でビータは消息を絶ってしまった。帝国の身ならず、大陸全土にまたがり暗躍する結社、ミクラウヘビ。その狩猟たるグランドマスターと開口し、魔女としての使命を捨ててしまった
その辺りはエマが掛け合ってたわね I see, so that's what the pendant is all about. Next time you see her, can you tell her I said thanks? Ah, Jibun de Ina Sai. Chikai Uchi ni mata aun de shu. Listener mina sa, sore de wa konshu wa kono atari de. Serina, Rin kun mo, konya wa hayaku neta hon ga ii wa ne. Oh boy. What was that? Wow, she really is something. Now I think about it, she did something similar during her live broadcast at the start of the Civil War. Ouroboros' plan was hijacked by the Chancellor, and the Black Workshop is starting to make a move. I'm also worried about the true story that Vita mentioned. Vita <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Judging by the fact you told me all this, I suppose that means you're headed off now, doesn't it? Ma, Makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah. Honestly, it felt like it went by in the blink of an eye. Hey, now, how about you sleep in my room tonight? What do you say? <laughs> He's still treating her like a cat, even though she can obviously talk. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna proceed. No point in stopping yet. Oh, no, okay, it is the next day. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye and then head to the exercises. I'm terribly sorry for imposing on you all for so long. Thank you for your hospitality. I had so much fun spending time with all of you. Oh, not as half, not half as much as we did with you, I'm sure. Hey, Elise, let's have another round of girl talk sometime. It was time well spent. It certainly was a lot of fun. Time Delar is not so very far away, so I'm certain we'll be able to see each other again soon. Indeed, please give the princess our regards as well. I certainly will. I didn't think you'd be leaving too, Celine. It's sudden. Well, it seems like Emma's found some clues on her end. I'm sure your instructor can survive without me for at least a little while, so I'll be off for a bit. I see. Well, please say hello to Emma for me. Aw, oh, and here I wish to give you one more brushing before you departed. I'll pass. Your brushing is dangerous. In any event, continue to work hard, everyone. Two years ago, that instructor of yours was utterly lost and completely hopeless. Compared to him, you're all in pretty good shape right now. Huh? Is that so? Now, now, Celine. It pains me to admit, but I can't really refute that. <laughs> まあ、そっちも頑張りなさい。聞けば今週末にもまた演習に行かれるとのこと。兄様、皆さんもくれぐれもお気をつけください。うん、ありがとう。必ず無事に戻ってくる。安心していてくれ。We <笑><笑> can hope.
ぬるい休暇も終わりか気候兵協連に演習地発表楽しみにさせてもらうぜはい。So, today's agenda is determining the right soul dat for each of our students. Yeah, from the four types. Depending on today's results, we'll decide the formation this weekend. Sure thing, today's gonna be a busy day. Oh, yeah, your sister headed back this morning, right? She's so pure and cute, she reminds me of a lily. Having a sister like that must make you feel like a winner. Yeah, you'd better believe I count my blessings every day. But you have your cousin. Never mind. Uh, now, do you realize how good you've got it? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Comparing is not really fair. At least it's an angel compared to that demon. I do like how the Kestra looks. Ash, don't lose control. Muse, you're moving too slow. Tch, what's up with this thing? It's so delicate, I can't push it. Oh my, this is definitely too clunky for sniping. Not bad, you two. This model seems better suited to sword wielding. I think I like this one best. It just seems easier to handle overall. Looks like everyone is finding the soul that that suits them. I'm sure it just comes down to personal taste. It's pretty clear that Ash and Muse prefer the opposite kind of machines. All right, next up are Altina and Maya. Board the Hector and the Kestrel. Leonora and Gustav, you're in the Spiegel and Draken. Well, we've given each of them a shot now. I think I like the Draken best. Personally, I prefer the Spiegel. Its extra sensors and maneuverability are practically made for sword users. The Kestrel is my favorite. It's precise enough to make use of an orbital rifle. Hector's still my guy. None of these other machines have enough power for me. There's no need to worry, Allie. You are pretty good at piloting all the different models, right? Yes, as long as I understand the model's unique characteristics, it comes down simply to following the instructions. But if I were to ask which one would be my favorite, I wouldn't have an answer. It's gotta be the Hector. It's strong like that black doll thing you got. No, no, Clumos Elias is able to fly, so surely the Kestrel is... I don't think that's the issue here. I think a big part of it might be how compatible the model is with our current we normal weapons. Agreed. Perhaps you simply need to find a machine that comes naturally to you, like controlling Columbus Elias does. Maybe. I'll keep thinking about it. <clears throat> Alright, we're all done with the model breakdowns. Now we're going to do a group mock battle. What? For real? But because we're limited in the number of machines, we'll split you up accordingly. Since we only have one Spiegel and one Kestrel each, whoever wants to use them can step forward. Okay. Yeah, because it's like if two people are... Two people can't be on a team that want to use the same model. Because they only have one. Things are going pretty well. Think about it's time to finish up? Yeah. Okay, everyone, stop. Our final exercise today. Instructor Randy and I will be your opponents. 
What? Oh, man. Four of you will be going up against me and Rain. And we don't plan on losing. We're going to give it our all. About damn time. I'm itching to show off my skills. Oh, God. She has her golden soul, that. It's her. She's gonna murder somebody. That machine. That's the Golden Spiegel the principal mentioned. I had it stored in the hangar basement, but if I don't take it out for a spin every so often, it'll start to rust. I decided to put it through its paces today. I'm sure you have no objections, right, Orlando Schwarzer? Whoa, whoa, wait. They wouldn't stand a chance against you. Don't worry, I'll go easy on them. Getting a taste of the heights of martial prowess is good training, too. But if they're all too scared, I suppose I can retract my offer. Now you've done it. <laughs> Not bad at all. I doubt we'd have a chance, even if all of us were to attack her at once. However, she is an opponent those of us who follow the way of the sword would jump at the chance to spar with. Everyone. Guess nothing I can say would stop this. Alright, we'll do a four-on-one battle with a handicap. First up are Yuna, Kurt, Muse, and Ash. Board your machines. Oh, Lord. There will be no time limit. If you're able to at least lay a scratch on the principal's machine, you pass. Is that alright with you, principal? Yes, that is acceptable. Now, new class seven, stand against me with everything you have. Right. Oh yeah, because you can only use three of them. Uh, give me. Yeah, sure. Card at muse. Alright, uh... And she's in that, like, very, like, over-the-top pose as well. It, it looks like she's not guarding herself at all. God. Okay. Head? Oh no. At least we have the weakness now. Oh boy. Nice blast. We get that nice burn. Sokura! enough. Oh, wow. We're going to get hit with this. Uh... 
んだなもらったぜ僕の番だな行くぞはい。We are getting her very low. We are going to get her down to zero. You can't get her down to zero, can you? Yeah, you can. She's down to one. We can't get her lower. I guess she's gonna like one shot everybody at some point. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> But she's still down to one HP. Can't do anything, yeah. This is gonna one shot. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Yeah, it's over. And everyone's dead. Well, at least we technically won. We did get her down to 1 HP. Actual insanity. The match is over. I've heard the stories, but this is the power of the two major sword schools the Golden Raksha. <laughs> She's serious. She She is seriously some kind of monster. Hmm. What? How could she even move like that? Considering the structure of the Soul Dad, it should be impossible. Not a bad warm up. Now for the next ones. Eek. On second thought, I need to go all out or I'll end up getting too fired up. Orlando, Schwarzer, you'll be my opponents. What? For real? You two will be able to give me a proper challenge. Though Schwarzer should probably just use his own machine. That is, if you want to gain anything from this match. His own machine, does she mean? Understood. Did you hear that, Valimar? Ooh. Well, he's obviously not gonna fly out, he's gonna walk outside. Oh no, just teleport him out. He could have probably walked out himself. I mean, it's not that far. I don't mind being her opponent, but whipping out the Divine Knight is a little much, don't you think? With your skills, you'd probably be fine with just a Spiegel. I think even with the two of us and Valimar, we probably only have about a 50 50 chance of winning. On second thought, maybe closer to 30. Is she seriously that much of a monster? Jeez, I just gotta suck it up. I mean, she knows she'll get a real challenge from these two. A former Jaeger and member of the SSS, and obviously Rain. Well, then, let us begin. 
黄金の羅折オーレリア・ルグインが相手をするいざ尋常に勝負灰色の騎士赤い死神をブレッド・リーパーあ I think this is actually, like, not to spoil anything, but from what I remember, I believe this is the only time you play as Randy in the game. And it's not even playing as him, it's playing as him in a soul vat. We gotta be careful, though. Randy! Okay. Power Smash and Salamander. Oh, I miss these moves. I know it hasn't been that long, but. Damn, 20k, Randy? Well, Randy's in the Hector, right? Yeah, the Hector is meant for power anyway. That's why he. I mean, even Rain's doing close to 20k. Nice. Salamanda. Good job, Randy and Reen. <clears throat> oh, the instructors won? Yeah, what an intense battle. They look like they're on their last legs, though. I wonder what the commotion was, but to see the principal fighting. But that really was an incredible battle. Brilliant. Is she even human? Reminded me of Ouroboros' Steel Maiden. Ah, you met her when you were with the special support section. It was an uphill battle with even the two of us teamed up against her. Laura's become stronger too. I can't afford to fall behind. Marvelous. Skills like that at such a young age. I'm looking forward to your future accomplishments. Haha, <laughs> well, thanks. Our fight taught me a lot. Well, now that I've been able to get my fighting spirit under control, I believe it's time for me to administer Class 8's test. <laughs> Poor kids. Well, good luck. And so, Aurelia finished training with the members of Class 8. They were all completely exhausted, yet it was a very fulfilling training session for everyone. As the end of lunch arrived, the students' anticipations began to rise. And in the tactical conference room, the location for the next set of field sites exercises was revealed. The Lamar province, they're known for their seafood. Oh, we're near Ordis, too. That's the biggest port city on the west coast, right? Oh, and Raquel with their famous casinos. Do they really need to have the conference during the summer festival? I'm also worried about what Ouroboros is up to. Expect these field exercises to be more difficult than any prior. All of you must be fully prepared and motivated. Yes, sir. 
Oh, right, so Ash and Muse I wouldn't have known beforehand. Lamar, huh? That's all the way in the west side of the Empire, right? It's also where the largest base of nobles is. And Muse's hometown, too. Oh, it's a lovely place. The scenery is always picturesque, and the ocean is simply breathtaking. You were from that region, too, if I recall. Yeah, but my city's down in a canyon. Couldn't see the ocean from there. Besides, I never gave a crap about that place. But with what I know now, maybe I'll see things differently. Maybe about what he was, like, seeing or thinking about while he was in Hamel. I feel like by the end of this chapter, we're going to know a lot more about uh, Muse and Ash. Oh, wow, that was fast. All right, definitely a good stopping point. So I assume next time once we hit proceed, it's probably going to start the day of the field exercises, the morning when they all drive out there. Or not really drive, but take the train out there. And then uh, we'll get started on our field exercises once camp is set up. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.